Hi, right, Mark Reedy here. Just wanted to go over real quickly um, how to install Tatums on a terminal services server and how to set it up a couple of different ways. One with um, using remote desktop access where the user gets to see the whole desktop kind of like this. And the other one where the user gets to see uh, only the only an icon on their own desktop that actually links back over to the terminal services server and still runs the whole program on the terminal services server. So uh, first of all, what you want to do is uh, install Tatums, and you have to use this is a we're in, on this demonstration we're using terminal services uh, and Windows Server 2008. And uh, this should be the same for the Small Business Server 2011 because the uh, t Small Business Server 2011 also uses uh, Terminal, s or excuse me, it uses um, Windows Server 2008 Release 2. So what you want to do is click on Start and then Control Panel. And you'll see here a, 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 um, an icon for install application on terminal server. So we're going to open that up, click next, and then we're going to browse. And from here, uh, you're going to use, uh, you're going to be looking for the file called tatumsmsi.exe. It'll either be on your CD uh, or it'll be. Uh, or you can download it from the internet. And you're going to have to change this where it says Setup Programs. Change this to All Files so it will show up in the list. And that's the file we want right there. So we're going to open that up. And we're going to click Next. And we'll just wait for this to finish installing. Just go through the installation routine. Okay, so now we've got Tatums installed, and I'm going to go ahead and close Tatums out. And then we're going to click Finish here on the installer, the Terminal Services installer. Let's just know that it's completed. And now uh, we're going to go over to the subfolders of where Tatums is installed. We're going to click on Computer and then the C drive, and it's in Program Files x86 because this uh, Windows server is a 64-bit operating system and um, go to the Tatum 2005 folder here and now we're going to go ahead and set up a subfolder for each user Actually, we just grab all these files. This would be the easiest thing to do. Just grab all these files except for, and what you're going to do is you do a control, actually, do a shift click to select them all, and then control click to unselect the data files. So you don't need to get that. So we're going to copy that, and we're going to put into that subfolder, go back. We're going to go into this subfolder. And now we want to create a shortcut within each of these subfolders to this file here, this MDE file, Tatum2005.mde. So I'm going to right click, choose Create Shortcut. So there's our shortcut for that one. I am going to right click on that and cut that shortcut and then I'm going to go over to users there we go. so what I'm going to do is cut this back over to users and I'm going to paste that into here into the desktop that user. You can see that showed up here. And this will only be on my desktop. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this original shortcut that was created for Tatum. So I'm going to cut this and go back over to 
the Tatum 2005 folder. You can see we're just inside that folder. I'm just going to paste this shortcut in there just in case we want to use it for some future reference. So now I'm going to go back over to this shortcut that I created on the desktop and go to uh, Properties. And you can see that it points here to C program files Tatum 2005 mark slash Tatum 2005.mde. And so if we have another copy or another version of Microsoft Access on this machine, then you're going to want to use the Microsoft Access runtime that was included with Tatums. Now, in order to get that runtime into this shortcut, what I'm going to do here is go into Program Files and you'll see Microsoft Access Runtime right here. And then you have Office 10. And so we're looking for this msaccess.exe. In order to get the path to that, I'm going to click on Start and then Run. I'm going to remove what's in there now. And I'm going to grab that path. Now that I've got the entire path, I'm going to select it, copy it. We're going to go back up here to this shortcut. And prior to the path to the Tatum's 2005.mde file, I'm going to put a space there and then I'm going to do a control V to paste that path to the msaccess.exe file. So that forces Tatum's to be opened with the runtime version of Access that was included with Tatums. And I'm going to put quotations around the path to the Tatums file as well. So we have a quotation here ending on the uh, msaccess.exe, then we have a space, and then another quote, and then we finish. We're going to finish with a quote. And it looks like it's there. Go back to the home, and we have double quotes there, so I'm going to get rid of that. So now we have a starting with a quote, and then we have a quote here to finish off that path, and then we start a new path with a new quote, and then we finish this path with quotes. And I'm going to go ahead and change the icon. So I'll click on Change Icon and then Browse. And what we're going to do is go to the Tatums folder, which is in Program Files, uh, x86. And then into Tatum's 2005, and we're just going to use this wrench icon here. And we got that. We cancel out of that. And then we can just rename this Tatum's if you want to. So that's how we create a shortcut to the user's desktop so that they're using the file in their folder and not the main file because you don't want to share this uh, front-end file, the Tatum2005.mde uh, file with all the users at the same time. So I'm going to go back over to this Tatum2005 folder and we see one called Matt and what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to in his folder I'm going to create a shortcut so I'm going to right click on that file Tatum2005.mde choose create shortcut and then I'm going to grab that shortcut I'm going to right click on it choose cut and then I'm going to go down here to users and we're going to go here to MM Reedy's desktop and I'm going to go to his so I first I go down to users and then inside users go to MM Reedy expand that and then you go to desktop and you're just going to paste that shortcut into his desktop and then what we want to do is uh, let's see if we can go ahead back over here and run all right so I'm gonna have to grab that um, path again so let's open this up and go to properties we want to put the path to the uh, msaccess.exe that's in the runtime folder in that path there so I'm going to go back over to uh, Program Files, MSXS Runtime. Okay. There's the runtime. I'm going to drag that down here to the Run dialog. And then I'm going to select 
select all that. Copy. And then we're going to paste that in here before the beginning of the path to the uh, Tatum's 2005.mde file. So I'm going to do a control V to paste that in. Go to the beginning of that. Quote there. Quote there. Space. Another quote. And then there's the path to the Tatum's 2005.mde file in Matt folder, the mat folder. Alright, and we'll change his icon. And we'll go to choose that one there, the rich. Click OK, apply, click OK, cancel out of that. Now let's go back over to his shortcut. It's in his desktop, you can see. C users MM Ready desktop. And we're just going to rename his shortcut. So that he opens up his desktop via remote desktop access. He's just going to see that Tatum's icon there. And that will open up and run Tatum's. And that's all there is to it to set up uh, the individual desktops shortcuts for Tatum's with Terminal Services Server. And now we're going to go over how to set up uh, creating a remote application so the user does not need to go into or log into the desktop on the server, have his own desktop on the server. He can just uh, have his own little application icon on his desktop that actually opens and runs on the server, but he doesn't actually open the desktop on the server. He just runs the program itself on the server. So we'll go over that in the next video. All right, thanks for watching. Talk to you later.